ചാനൽ ഏവർക്കും എൻ്റെ ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം സോ ഐ എം റിസീവിങ് എ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ക്വറീസ് റിഗാർഡിങ് വാട്ട് ഹാവ് ടു ബി ഡൺ ആഫ്റ്റർ കംപ്ലീഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി കോഴ്സ് ആസ് ഐ എം ഡീലിങ് വിത്ത് അലൈഡ് ഹെൽത്ത് കോഴ്സസ് ബിഫോർ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് നോൺ ആസ് പാരാമെഡിക്സ് നൗ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കമ്മിങ് ഇൻ ടു എഫക്റ്റ് ഓർ ഹാവ് നൗ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോൺ ആസ് അലൈഡ് ഹെൽത്ത് സയൻസ് കോഴ്സസ് so we have already mm, a council have come put forward for our courses that is national council for allied health professionals have come into effect and there are lot of allied health courses like bsc medical laboratory technologist optometrist uh, then bsl audiology and speech language pathology cardiac perfusion echocardiography Uh, then the courses which i am dealing with is uh, medical radiology and imaging technology and bsc radiotherapy technology there are lot of other courses are also there like operation theater technology uh, then comes ict intensive care unit physician associate like lot of allied health courses are there all these courses are 3 year plus 1 year internship so after completing 3 years it's a semester course all these courses when it is coming under national council it is all semester so 6 months 6 months okay one semester will be for 6 months so there will be theory as well as practical aspects so once after completion of the course so it's a 3 year course plus 1 year internship you will get a good clinical exposure and the project is very mandatory you have to if you are going for abroad registration thesis or project is very mandatory so you have to make sure that once you are uh, enrolling in a course uh, you should make sure that uh, in the last semester there you have to uh, undergo a project or a thesis work so after completion of the course you have lot of opportunities so i am dealing only with my profession or with my uh, region of interest that is related with radiography and radiation therapy technology once you are completing the course you are having lot of opportunities you can choose your profession as a lecturer or a tutor there is one option then you can choose your profession as application specialist in companies since we are, our course is related with machine lot of machines are related means x-ray machine ct mr radiotherapy so we are dealing with the machines so you will get as an application specialist job in any of these settings or you can work as a technologist so after completion of bachelor's you can go for an msc post graduation so many of them have a question so what will we receive or what will be our designation once we have completed the uh, masters so once you have completed your masters once you have gone to abroad or wherever you will be getting uh, higher other higher designations you can attain for example if you are working as a radiotherapy or a radiology technologist you can get the promotion like a senior even you have having the post of a manager in the radiology department so if you are having mba or any post graduation the relevant field post graduation if you are having you will get higher higher designation will be awaiting for you so that is the importance even if you are switching on a teaching profession uh, once you have completed your masters you can directly be an assistant professor then uh, depending upon the experience you are moving ahead with as an associate professor professor then being the hrd then you can be the course in charge so lot of options are also there in the teaching if you are choosing as a teaching professional or once you are choosing as a uh, radiology technologist or a radiographer you will get more options in your developing developing your profession 
then uh, comes the about the so after completion of the course okay so uh, the more important thing when, before you are choosing the course for your um, studies make sure that our course is purely related with physics lot of physics area that is purely the radiation physics topics will be covered so if you are having any difficulties in studying physics then you have to go for a better option so after so if you have enrolled for the course and after completion of the course you have to go for a clinical experience you should have a minimum of two years of clinical experience uh, with that only you have to qualify the licensing exams in uh, gcc qualifying uh, gcc means gulf countries will be having the licensing exams only after qualifying the licensing exams only you will be able to work in gulf countries so uh, what all are the licensing exam and uh, how much is the score for passing the exam everything we will be discussing in the next video so stay tuned for the next video until then stay safe stay healthy and bye bye